Welcome back to the Travel Coach Network podcast. It is I, Sahara Rosabor, the founder of the Travel Coach Network and the creator and instructor of the Travel Coach Certification Program. Wellness and Adventure is where this private equity founder would invest $1 billion. Let's dive into this. Quote, consumers are spending a higher proportion of their discretionary income on activities and experiences than ever. End quote. According to panelist Greg O'Hara, the founder and senior managing director at private equity firm Sertaris. When asked where he would invest $1 billion, O'Hara says in Wellness and Adventure, reports a Focus Wire article titled Travelers' Demand for Experiences Requires Industry Rethink. On the panel discussion that took place at the World Travel and Tourism Council's Global Summit in 2022 in Saudi Arabia. The fact that travelers are spending more money on activities and experiences than ever is no surprise after what we have gone through over the past few years. People were gifted the time to reevaluate what matters most to them for many people. That's our time. Whether that's our personal time alone, time with our family and loved ones, time working on something that we're really actually passionate about, or time that makes us feel enriched and fulfilled rather than burned out, unappreciated, and undervalued. Travel is an activity and an experience that people are valuing. Yes, travel is always was always valued but since the pandemic, travel has catapulted to the top of people's lists of how to best spend their time. But they're not traveling just to travel. People are putting more thought and purpose into where they go, what they do, who they travel with, and how long they're traveling for. Travel is transformative. Travel is healing. We always knew that, but now we are finally seeing a light shine on tourism as a tool to transform and heal, along with to learn, to grow, cope, connect, be inspired, be alive again, and all those other really deeper personal reasons why we travel. While traveling the globe to 84 countries solo, I myself had thousands of conversations with travelers where I realized a commonality among why people truly traveled. It wasn't to just sightsee or just to relax in a spa or to lie on a beach or dine at a five-star restaurant. Instead, people truly traveled to feed their physical, mental, spiritual, social, intellectual, and professional well-being. Quote, people are making decisions about travel based on what they want to do, not where they want to go, end quote, says O'Hara in the Focus Wire article. In my Travel Coach Network, travel coaches empower people to set intentions for their trips. First, based on what they're actually seeking out of an escape or a vacation. It's about shifting how we view, use, and talk about travel rather than a luxury activity, activity or a one to two times a year type of experience or just a vacation and then back to your daily routine again. Instead, it should be about using travel as a tool to better our well-being, better our life, better our relationships, and better our professional goals. Decades of research has proven all of this. Now we just need to start implementing and taking action. Quote, a shift away from the purchase of goods towards investment in authentic local experiences has gained momentum over the last few years. And that has important implications for the travel industries, end quote, says Focus Wire in their article. Well, that's a no-brainer though, isn't it? The foundation of tourism is place and people. People being the culture, the local community, storytelling and traditions, place being the land, the environment, local foods, wildlife, and nature. All of these elements of travel, as I call them, are what draw people to destinations in the first place. It's far more than just how white the sand is of a beach or how crystal blue the waters are, because let's face it, those beaches and waters are all around the world. Instead, the authentic, raw, and real experiences of a destination are what tourism and hospitality companies are lacking on promoting. All of these elements of travel, people, place, human connection, nature, local foods, culture, are what feed our hunger to travel. 
People have been craving travel for years now. Therefore, it's no wonder why we are seeing a shift in consumer behavior towards more wellness and adventure. In my previous article on LinkedIn, I talked about a recent uh, survey by the Global Wellness Institute and, and how they found what was most important for wellness travelers when selecting a wellness destination were one, local healthy food, and two, nature and wildlife. Those were double the selection than the responses of spas and fitness experiences. So if, quote, the industry needs to understand that the customer is different and therefore the offer should be different, end quote, according to Sebastian Bazin, the chairman and CEO of Accor, then why is more money being poured into spas, fitness centers, wellness centers, and treatments when it comes to wellness travel? rather than focusing on amplifying the authentic wellness experiences that involve culture, human connection, local community, local foods, time and nature, while helping travelers get in tune in what type of transformation, outcome, solution, or feeling they are truly seeking from a travel experience at the point of booking. This is just some food for thought. This is what I, as a wellness travel coach, and consultant represent, and this is what the Travel Coach Network embodies. Be sure to come follow us on Instagram at the Travel Coach Network. Learn more at thetravelcoachnetwork.com. Give us a hello. We look forward to having you in our TCN Facebook global community. The link for that and your free beginner's guide to travel coaching are in the show notes. If you know anyone who might be interested in travel coaching, or if you're a company and you're interested in partnering for wellness travel with me, Please uh, send anyone interested in travel coaching our way to our podcast or send me a message. And until next time, my fellow wanderers, bye for now.